payment card industry data security standards, or PCI DSS, cover any organization that directly accepts credit or debit card payments. Any merchant that accepts payment cards should be PCI DSS compliant. If you use third-party merchant services and do not store card information, then you are not affected, but you should make sure your merchant services provider is compliant. PCI DSS is a form of industry self-regulation that helps you implement reasonable security standards to protect your customers' credit and debit card data. It is something that more and more consumers are looking for as assurance that they are dealing with a trustworthy company. PCI DSS comprises 12 requirements. These together make up the kind of IT security policy that any company would be wise to implement. Requirement 1 is to implement a firewall. Most people think of a firewall as protecting the company network from the world outside, but when it comes to people's card data, it is a good idea to implement internal firewalls as well to make sure the servers holding the card data are protected from internal snooping as well. When implementing a firewall, it is a good idea to start with all the ports closed and then open the ones that are necessary to allow business traffic to pass through. Requirement two is to make sure that all default passwords are changed. Strong passwords are a must. Requirement three is to protect stored cardholder data. This might include encryption, access control, and of course, only storing the data you really need to store. Requirement four is to use strong cryptography and security protocols when transmitting cardholder data over unsecured or public networks. This is especially important if you include wireless technologies in any part of the data transfer process. Requirement 5 is to use an up-to-date antivirus solution that is deployed at every point and level within the system. Requirement 6 is to ensure that all system components are protected from known vulnerabilities through the implementation of effective patch management to install all critical security patches within one month of their release. Requirements 7, 8, and 9 are all about access control. 7 states that access to cardholder data should be limited to those people who need access to do their jobs. 8 calls for unique identification of each person with access. People are far less likely to break the rules if they know they can be identified and their activities tracked. 9. Restricts physical access to cardholder data, so the network housing the cardholder data could be isolated from the more public network and any removable media would be strictly controlled within this zone. Requirements 10 and 11 stipulate monitoring and testing of network security. This would include the ability to track any network events and provide audit trails of all network activity. Requirement 12 is all about maintaining an information security policy. Some might argue that this should be requirement 1, as it governs the planning and implementation of all the requirements. And the good news is that thanks to the technologies available today, most of the PCI DSS requirements can be automated, so it doesn't have to be onerous or time-consuming.